earlier we talked about how large deformation changes the shape of a structure and introduces nonlinearity in a system's response but we haven't talked about when can we consider large deformation in our analysis the answer to this question is very elaborate so we'll dedicate the current lesson to discuss it when we use the large deformation formulation in an analysis it considers the change in shape of the structure and the corresponding stresses that are developed in it it's important to note that stiffness of a mechanical system depends on both the material and the geometry of the system for instance a bar of stainless steel has a very stiff response compared to a spring made of the same material in this case the helical geometry of the spring makes the structure more flexible so large deformation considers the changes in the shape and introduces geometric nonlinearities in the model there are four important types of geometric nonlinearities namely large strain large rotation stress stiffening and spin softening all these nonlinearities are introduced when large deformation formulation is used but depending on the application one or more of them are predominant we'll look at few examples to demonstrate how each of these nonlinearities plays a role in analyzing mechanical systems let's start with large strain to understand how large strain affects a system let's look at a fishing rod for example we'll hold on to one of the fishing rod and tie the bait to a rope which is hanging at the other free end when a fish takes the bait and gets caught to the hook we start winding the rope to bring the fish out of water at this stage the weight of the fish is transferred as load to the free end of the fishing rod and it pretty much acts as a slender cantilever beam so the weight of the fish is creating a moment acting on the free end of the rod if you notice the fishing rod bends due to this applied moment and in that process span of the cantilever beam changes and in turn reduces the magnitude of moment so you can clearly see how the change in shape is changing the amount of load acting on the structure due to this adjustment the displacement increment changes automatically during this whole process the weight of the fish is not changing well at least once it's out of the water so the displacement at the very beginning may be changing linearly but as it deforms further the varying moment changes the displacement behavior and ends up with a nonlinear force displacement response if we do not consider this changing moment we will end up with an incorrect prediction of deflection and may end up with a bad design for fishing rods now let's look at the next geometric nonlinearity which is large rotation this is an interesting nonlinearity which must be considered even if there is rigid rotation let's take a drive shaft for instance it's used to transmit torque or rotation from one component to another it's commonly used in automobiles in transferring power from engine to the wheels during its operation it may experience torque that shears it about its own axis when this happens the points move in a circular trajectory on its surface and this new updated coordinates are nonlinear functions trigonometry functions to be more precise of the angle of shear if we assume small rotation mathematically we may approximate sin theta equals to theta and cos theta equals to 1 by doing so we can linearize the governing equations and therefore use a linear solver but the error introduced by this approximation 
increases as the angle of shear increases. As a result, at larger rotation, the shaft appears to grow radially, which is physically incorrect. Such errors can be avoided by using large deformation formulation in case of large rotations, even if the structure is not deforming as much. So, if in an application, if a structural component is known to undergo large rotations, using large deformation is highly recommended. Now, coming to the third type of nonlinearity, which is stress stiffening. This is another nonlinearity which can drastically change the stiffness of a system. A classic example that demonstrates the effect of stress stiffening is string instruments such as a guitar. A crucial step that every guitarist takes before playing is to tune the instrument. This is done by turning a few knobs that are attached to the guitar strings. By doing so, they are stretching the strings and introduce stress in them. As a result, the strings become stiffer and their frequencies change. The presence of stress in the string increases its stiffness and in turn changes the way the strings vibrate. The stress stiffening is not just limited to string instruments. In any bolted assembly, when we tighten the bolts, it introduces some stress in the structure. As a result, the stiffness of that structure increases. In fact, not considering the stress stiffening can result in inaccurate results. A pre-stress can be applied to a linear system as well, but using large deformation formulation will automatically account for its effects. But as an engineer, it's still important to judge whether a system has any pre-stress to begin with before analyzing its structural response. Finally, let's talk about the fourth nonlinearity, which is spin softening. All the rotating machinery, such as turbines, have heavy components that are rotating at high speeds, and as a result, they experience centrifugal forces that are acting away from their center. Since these components are fixed at their center, they tend to deform radially due to these centrifugal forces. And as they deform radially outward, their radius of rotation changes, which in turn results in increasing the centrifugal force and hence the radial deformation too. As a result, the spinning components are prone to deforming more than the same components that are at rest. This phenomenon is nothing but the spin softening, which is captured only when we are considering the change in shape of the structure during deformation. So using large deformation formulation will consider this phenomenon. This is very crucial in studying the vibrational properties of heavy rotating machinery, such as wind turbines and jet engines. So in this lesson, we have learned how large deformation introduces four different kinds of nonlinearities into the model response and their importance in accurate engineering calculations. While we have discussed the physical aspects of large deformation, we haven't yet talked about the mathematical treatment of this formulation. This is again a very important topic to learn, so we'll save it for a separate discussion.